Okay, thanks for introduction, kind of introduction. And yes, as you said, um, last but not at least, I feel great honored to be here to present something about building a virus actuator. So my name is Tao from TUK Slauten, and uh, it's a collaboration project between TUK Slauten and AO Planter. So my project aims at building a virus actuator, but some of you may ask, how does it work? Um, so we start from the motivation. Um, yes, the children play Lego for fun. They're using toy bricks to build different transportations and buildings according to their imaginations. So um, building an actuator um, based on viruses could be very interesting, um, such as such as we uh, we can play virus as for fun. So why plant virus, especially in my project, we think about the human safety. So the plant virus only infect crops and plants. Um, they have different shapes like other type of viruses, etc. enveloped in helical more stru complex structures. Um, they have nano shape, uh, basically from one nanometer to 1000 nanometer, um, mo mostly submicrometers. They can genetically modified and we can produce them very rapidly, convenient and massively. So first type of virus I use in my project is TBSV, the tomato butchistan virus. Um, it can tolerate the temperature up to 70 degree to 8 degree. Um, it's, uh, it's very stable um, even under some acid or some of the common used organic solvent in our, pro uh, in our laboratory. It's like sphere uh, with a diameter about 33 nanometer. Um, Another type of virus I use is not a um, plant virus, but still a virus is M13 bacterium phage. Uh, it belongs to more complex structure. It has a chopstick-like structure with a lens about 880 nanometers. So compared to the lens, it has a very thin body with a diameter six nanometer. So basically we think about it, uh, it has a very high or tall structure for us to use. Um, because the most important thing I want to mention here is the uh, M13 fish, uh, it owns uh, piezoelectricity. So most of the researchers are concentrating on M13 phages. They use M13 phages for anode or cathode, I think electric electrode materials for energy harvesting or energy devices and energy storage devices. I could see if we um, press or stretch the materials, they can produce the charges and let uh, photodiode. Um, to turn on, so like the very right figure I show here from another publication. So both of the viruses, TBSV and Mercerian phages, um, they can all, uh, they could both genetically modified and we can produce them very fast, like I've said. So what is the actuator? Um, so actuator is basically uh, actuate, transform other or convert other forms of uh, energy to linear motion. So here, as a sample of pneumatic actuator, it, it converts the air pressure potential to kinetic energy and generating a motion or linear motion along the long x or y axis. So think about we have a um, piezoelectric actuator. It's separate micro micrometers at scale. Um, so we use, um, basically we use the silicon substrate and then the tomato bushistan virus could be mobilized onto silicon and then M13 phages will, we try some different methods to deposit M13 phages. Uh, and so here, the most important thing is uh, we want to have the condensed first layer of tomato bushistan virus as building blocks. So we say, uh, as a very high building, we always need a very uh, stable basement or the first floor. How I prepared my sample, starting with uh, silicon, I used two kinds of functionalization method, aptus and malimide, malimide functionalization. I think most of you, if you have functionalized your um, handy lever, 
um, I hope you could understand. And uh, a very special streptac thing, uh, which is a special engineered uh, streptac thing, um, were immobilized onto silicon. And the streptac TBS fee, the TBS fee is genetically modified by streptac. So streptac is a biotin contracted with antibody. So it is very famous or very well known that the biotin and uh, streptactin between them, and they could generate a very uh, big or pretty big uh, affinity and streptac between streptac and streptactin, it's a one term time larger and than the force between biotin and the streptavidin. So uh, here the streptavid the streptac TBSV um, is immobilized by spin coating onto silicon covalently or indirectly, but very tightly. So at last, the upside down method, we used to deposit M13 phages onto TBSV. So, um, so here, I would, I would like to mention here, M13 phages are also modified by anti-TBSV CP, it's a capsid protein, which helps to bond with TBSV better. I have some result to show here. I've characterized the streptactin, this special uh, engineered streptavidin uh, through a scanning force microscopy. Um, so we would like to have a very um, stable or homogeneous streptactin or very uniform structure of streptactin to immobilize the streptactin VSV. And we see there are no different, there are no um, very big differences on the height. And I would say it's a very stable for um, immobilizing and streptactin, uh, streptac TBSV. So I, for the streptac TBSV mobilization, I have tried different concentrations um, from 0 0.2 microgram per microliter to one microgram per microliter. So we can just ignore 0 0.5 and 0 0.2 because there are, we have observed that um, there are lots of uh, interspaces and gaps between TBSV and until 0 0.8 microgram per microliter strip TBSV we still uh, observe the interspaces. And so can coincidentally, so I would, just, I would say the one is a good number and um, it's also for us, it's also good for my project, the one per per um, microgram per mi micro liter. Uh, we didn't- you have three minutes left. Okay, thanks. Uh, we didn't find any uh, in the spaces or uh, gaps between TBSV. Um, based on this concentration, I tried uh, four different pH values from P4 to pH four, uh, pH value eight. So here the pH five to uh, five point two, pH six point seven five, and pH seven. They are electric point of TBSV, uh, isoelectric point of streptac and isoelectric point of streptactin, um, respectively. So the pH five point two is okay, um, but uh, compared to the pH range from six point seven five to pH seven. Um, they are better than pH 5.7, uh, 5.2, because we didn't uh, find uh, many gaps or many in the spaces um, between viruses. That mean, let's say we have uh, find the best solution. Uh, I mean, the best concentration, best pH values for us to use. And our last, uh, the as pre the as prepared. Uh, Streptac TBSV layer was covered onto M13 phages by upside down method. Uh, so this image, uh, this image or figure shows are at the upper right. Um, we can find that the M13 phages they, uh, generate like a bundle, uh, which is very similar to other publications because M13 phages are very easily to uh, from the bundle structures, and we also find or observe, observe um, the cross circle structures. I would explain that M13 phage solution is a little bit too sticky. So when there were um, nanobubbles or uh, molecule or 
micro bubbles inside the solution uh, after drying, they will generate uh, this. This crop cycle circles will be generated. So I even wash the sample with water. So we still find that I'm starting phages on that, and uh, the TBSV layer is very stable for us to use. So as a conclusion, I built it a TBSV layer by covalent linkages. I found a good solution for us to use uh, concentration and a pH value. I've imaged M13 phages on stripped up TBSV. Uh, after washing, it's very stable uh, as an outlook. So uh, in the future, we would like to um, observe M13 phages in water or buffer. So assume that uh, they will be like grass in the water, they dance themselves. So it would be a very challenging, but uh, we will try if this would be successful, we will try to use piezoelectric force microscopy to study uh, M13 phages and the, the piezoelectricity and induced motion, because uh, if we put some electric field on that, they will induce some motions, like I've said. Uh, we would like to employ Kelvin probe microscopy to investigate electric potential surface. Um, for my project, very uh, thankful to DFG and uh, good teamwork with AgroScience GmbH, El Planter Institute for Plant Research, and the fundamental equipments in Optimus Research Center at Technical University Kaiserslautern. Thanks a lot.